Since I started making videos about my lack of religious belief, I haven't had nearly as much criticism from theists as I'd like. There have been a few who have given me a run for my money. Most recently this guy, who suggested that I tried speaking to Jesus directly, which I have tried, but I must say that no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't shake the thought that I wasn't talking to anyone or anything beyond myself. I certainly didn't feel, see or hear any sort of response. Not that I expected to, but I did try. For almost as long as I can remember, I've been fascinated by questions such as Who are we? What are we? And why are we here? Holy books as well as spiritual and religious people claim to be able to answer these sorts of questions, but there is no obvious consensus among them. So as I learned more about the different religions, my agnosticism has crept closer and closer to atheism. It is in my nature to ask a lot of questions. For some reason my curiosity only gets stronger as I learn more about the world. One of the things I constantly ask myself is, could I be wrong? Could it be that despite underwhelming tangible evidence, there is an element of truth in what religious people claim? Could it be that the apparent contradictions between different religions are only there because the real meaning has been lost in translations? Could it be that the one true religion has been suppressed and that many false religions have been deliberately propagated so that heaven doesn't become overcrowded? I think I let a little cynicism creep into that last question. I genuinely want to test my conclusion that non-belief is the default and accurate worldview. If it turns out not to be, then I'll be a bit miffed after I die when I realise that I didn't look into the subject deeply enough. I know enough about science and the scientific method to realise that when it claims that hydrogen is fused into helium within stars, or that earthquakes are the result of tectonic plate movement, it is almost certainly based on sound evidence which I can research and verify if I have enough spare time. Some people seem to think that because there have been instances where scientists have lacked integrity and allowed bias to creep into their work, especially where large corporations are responsible for their funding, that all of the conclusions of science are tarnished in some way. I used to be a bit like that myself. So to be clear, the type of science I'm talking about is cosmology, biology, geology, physics and chemistry, to name but a few. In other words, those areas of science which are concerned with understanding those questions I mentioned before. Who are we? What are we? And why are we here? Another thing which keeps drawing me back to the theist versus atheist discussion is my wishful thinking. I would love to find out that my existence is not confined to the next few decades if I'm lucky, or even less if I'm not because there is so much I'd like to do, see and experience, which my limited lifespan won't allow. I'd love to be able to explore my own and other countries, to be able to go to Machu Picchu, the Red Pyramid at Dasher in Egypt, walk through the Grand Canyon and go to the moon even. I'd also love to have the time to be able to practice the guitar more, so one day I can be as good as Tommy Emmanuel. Sadly though, the reality of the situation seems to be that I need to make the most of the time I do have and be content with the knowledge that there is an awful lot I'll never be able to see and do. I have not seen any evidence to suggest that talk about reincarnation, heaven or any kind of afterlife is any more than wishful thinking, and I have been looking. There have been many great scientists who have had some religious beliefs. Stephen Jay Gould being one of the ones most often quoted. 
They invariably say that science deals with the physical world and religion deals with the world of ideas, thoughts and ultimate origins. Maybe these guys are right. I'm too ignorant to be able to declare that they are wrong, even though what I have learned so far suggests that they probably are. I still have so much to learn, so many questions to ask, so many answers to listen to and to try to gauge which ones connect with reality and which ones don't. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Thank you.